Welcome to December's Diabetes Technology Report. Happy New Year! In this video, I will get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world in the last month and this includes Dexcom had its investors meeting and wow, Dexcom is working on making G6 sensor last for 14 days, next generation Dexcom is looking insane, Pops One system is approved in the US, Tidepool received financial grants for Tidepool Loop project and that's pretty much it so we will talk some other stuff and kind of review a year in this rather festive mood. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, loops systems. We are not waiting. Okay, I'm going to try my best to keep those on for the entire Dexcom Investors Day segment. Get ready. So let's unwrap everything from Dexcom's Investors Day. Now there is a lot of stuff and I do mean a lot of stuff. So if you want some additional information and other resources, they are as always available in the video description. So Dexcom is currently trialing a G6 with one hour activation window and 14 day sensor. Early results are in and accuracy is just as good for the extended four days as it is for the current 10. So that's amazing, but G6 almost seems old fashioned compared to the next generation Dexcom. No calibration, extended sensor wear, probably 14 days, fully disposable, so sensor and transmitter and one tiny thing. Think Libre 2 will works like Dexcom. And most importantly, for someone like me who pays for Dexcom out of pocket, significant cost reduction. This device is expected to be launched in. 2020. Now, if this wasn't enough, Dexcom is also working on implementing Type 0 technology into their app and Clarity. It is all about helping you with decisions about your insulin or carb consumption. One slide shows screens suggesting eating 38 grams of carbs before medium intensity exercise. This is actually very interesting because this information is calculated on the spot with real time data about your glucose level etc. Dexcom is also working on making type 0 algorithm fully automatic. Currently, closed loop systems like 67TG or diaper loop require you to enter your carbs, but they want to make algorithms smart enough to work in full automation without meal announcement. And there is a slide which says Dexcom G6 direct watch capability, so we are so close. So close to being able to have our Dexcom G6 transmitter connect with the Apple Watch directly. Those are the major things that you should know, but they also talked about some other interesting things like Dexcom G6 for healthcare professionals, their partnership with pump companies and how they see smart pens. They love smart pens just like I do. Tidepool Loop News now, JGRF and Hemsley Charitable Trust are donating $6 million to the Tidepool Loop project. Huge thank you to those two amazing charities for supporting this project. If you want to learn more about Tidepool Loop, watch this video. Also, Tidepool, thank you so much for my super, super cool t-shirt. I love it. And Pops is now FDA approved and it will be available in the US in 2019. I have been following this company for a while because their meter looks very, very unique. It is attached at the back of your phone and it works on kind of cartridge basis. You just change cartridges as you use your test strips. It is very small and it connects to a very colorful app. And so that's it when it comes to diabetes tech news. Now, hope you had a fantastic Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, obviously. Um, it was great. I had a great Christmas period. It was my first Christmas with a closed loop system with, with loop, uh, which is a system to automatically adjust my background insulin, etc. And it was, it, it was great. It was great. I kind of, in a good way, didn't take care of, didn't pay attention to my diabetes in a good way. Not like in a bad way when you just don't, when you have a burnout or anything. Like in a good way, I just didn't, it wasn't on my mind. Um, so yeah, it was great. And of course, happy 2019. Have a great new year. Happy new year. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I am rocking those Dexcom G6 applicators um 2019 glasses they are super super cool um i love them now today's the last day of 2018 I, I need to physically hold them because they are so heavy you don't even understand 
now uh, by the way today is actually not the last day of 2018 because small youtube secret i'm actually recording this day before that uh, <laughs> but if you're watching this on the 31st of december 1st of january 2nd 4th 20th of january have a fantastic 2019 um my 2018 was pretty good in terms of my diabetic things it was just insane thank you so much for being here for like watching my videos it truly means the world to me and I, I, I got to travel to places that I would never thought I would I would go like EASD and D data and other things uh, it, it, diabetes professional care like those are huge bucket list tick boxes on my diabetes tech list like huge tick boxes on my um, bucket list so thank you so much because I, I get to do those things because you're watching and I, I truly truly appreciate that and um, so hope you have a fantastic 2019 and that's it that was your december's diabetes technology report with me net diabetic see you in the new year thank you for watching make sure you subscribe here and check my other videos here